Hello and welcome to 6th episode of New Hobby Workshop. As you may have seen in last video I already installed an awesome professional industrial LED lights, so workshop is now bright enough to work comfortably. In this video I'll make complete electrical installation, sockets here, sockets there and so on. But firstly I need a material from old workshop. Ok, here I got cables I try to use to stitch the sockets, some old cable canals and some new cable canals. I also buy one new modular canal, which is metal 2 meter long and will fit right here. Because I got now 3 phase I also buy some 3 phase sockets. This modular canal is quite expensive, for example 2 meter of steel canal with cover and 2 3 phase sockets was about 150 euro. But if you ask me it's worth because it come out really nice, clean and useful installation. Then I got here two boxes of different sockets, some cables and wires. All the electrical cabinet was designed for single phase system, so I need also new cabinet a bit bigger this time, three phase fuses, some more single phase fuses, three phase ground protection and special three phase sockets for new machine. First of all I prepared the cabinet with protections, fuses and contactor, then wire it up and mount it on wall, plus some cable canals. Ok, here I got mounted canals on the walls, main cabinet and a small box for the buttons next to door. Then continue with installing the cables and mounting first modular canal. One part is wired. I got some tough work here because as usual I take two small canals, but ok. Here I got now three cables from main cabinet for online and offline sockets, three phase sockets and a tube for compressed air. Power cable is already live, so I just check if all the phases are ok, then start with assembling first modular canal. First canal is ready so I can bring in the power and then prepare the box with buttons for main switch. And then wire the lights where I need to extend the cables. There are many ways to extend cables but I still think that quality soldering is far the best way. Lights are wired and they work as it should so I can start assembling second modular canal. Put some cover over the canal and then assemble last canal with sockets.
Now make some measures, see if everything is ok and make a protection test, which turn off instantly when a current bigger than 300 mA leak via ground. It worked, so I can clean the working mess, which wasn't easy because cleaning after itself isn't in sparky nature. Now let's check what I make. Don't worry about the mess in the cabinet. There can cover over and no one will see that again. I'm too old to complicate and lose time with stuff like that. Good contacts are much more important than nicely bended wires. Ok, all three lines go through the contactor, which we trigger with the button next to door. So when we press the green button, contactor turn on and lights plus the white sockets got the power. Except the last two fuses, they are constantly supplied, because one is for the light and second is for red socket, which get power all the time. They are useful for some 3D printers, chargers and so on, so I can turn off the main switch and leave the room while 3D printers still do their job. So when I come into workshop I just press green button so the lights turn on and sockets get supply. When leave press red button and everything will turn off. Sometimes only come for some tool into, so I can simply turn on light only with the button switch. When the main contactor is turned on that switch got no function. But sometimes I want to get contactor on and the light off. Also that is possible now with another button for a light control. With that button I can turn off the light or set its power. Here I got first modular canal next to a mini laid table. It got few single phase sockets, one red socket and a switch, which turn on and off the power to a compressor. That switch also open and close the electrical pneumatic valve, so there's no pressure in the system when there's no need. Second canal is next to a mill and only got few single phase and a three phase socket. The longest canal I got here about the main table. It contains many offline sockets for 3D printers and chargers. Lot of online sockets, switch for light under the shelf, 3 phase socket and universal compressed air plug. That's about it for today. Electrical installation come out just like I want, so I'm satisfied with the result. I was thinking that I'm done this in a few hours, but actually take me 3 afternoons. Thanks for watching, like, share and subscribe if you like and see you next time.